My idea for Panic came from kind of an unlikely source. Uh, Panic is a very realistic book. It's about a group of teens in a small town called Carp, New York. Uh, teens who engage in kind of a fear-based game every summer. Uh, over the course of, of each summer, they uh, have to do increasingly frightening things, and some uh, two anonymous judges deduct points for showing fear or for failing to complete the challenge. And at the end of the summer, the winner takes the pot. Um, so again, it's kind of hyper-realistic, but actually the inspiration for it came from a fairy tale, a Grimm's fairy tale, a lesser known one. It has multiple names. It's known as the boy who went forth to learn about shivers most commonly. And the fairy tale is about uh, three brothers, one of whom is considered simple or slow. So simple, in fact, that when he overhears people talking about having the shivers, he doesn't really understand what that is, and he wants to go forth and learn what the shivers are. And it's kind of an amusing fairy tale. He ends up spending three nights in a deeply haunted house. Um, and again, he's too simple, really, to feel afraid. Uh, but rediscovering the fairy tale made me start thinking about what, what is it that makes us afraid, and also why certain people would be better able to manage fear than others. And maybe it would be for unexpected or unanticipated reasons. Um, and that's where I came up with the idea for Panic. I think Panic is different from my other novels for several reasons. Um, it is the only novel I have that is purely realistic. Uh, Before I Fall, my first novel was it took place in largely a realistic setting, but there was a slight bit of fantasy element. But also, I think one of the things I'm most excited about is it is my first book that takes place from two points of view, a male and a female point of view. It's told from uh, Heather's perspective and Dodge's perspective. And I had so much fun with both characters, and I really had so much fun exploring Dodge's um, kind of life and emotions and and trying to inhabit the mind of a, of a teenage boy. I think uh, Panic in some ways has kind of pulls the best from both the Delirium trilogy and from Before I Fall. I think that it has a lot of um, kind of character work, which is kind of a funny thing to say, but I think that's a real strength of Before I Fall in particular. Um, it's a lot, Before I Fall is a book that's really about transformation and it's really about relationships and friendship. Um, and, and that is very strongly present in Panic. I think partly what fans of Delirium might respond to in Panic is also just, you know, the sense of adventure, the sense of danger, the sense of stakes. Uh, Panic has very high stakes. They get higher and higher as the book progresses. And there's just a lot of very cool action. And particularly in, in the latter half of Delirium, and then of course in Pandemonium Requiem, people who kind of like that um, amount of danger and intensity, I think we'll find something to relate to, or very much to relate to in Panic. And then in terms of what I think readers will be surprised by, uh, I think they're going to be surprised by Dodge, um, just in general as a character. And I hope that they'll be surprised by the way that the action unfolds and the way that the challenges unfold and ultimately by who is the winner of Panic.